Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Let Us Play Lee's Mansion, part 1, and recording chunk 1, of course. The game that came out for the GameCube. This release. It was a release game, yeah. I just realized, I think I'd 8 there means I've played this. played through this file 8 times. So, before I actually start, I just wanna. Oh. Point out that they actually have a preview movie for Pikmin, which came out half a month later or something, like December 3rd or something, same time Smash Bros. Melee did. Which, oh, the phone is ringing, I don't care. Stupid phone. It's kind of interesting. The last time, I'm pretty, I'm sure that other games have done it, but the only other time I can think of that any game has ever done anything like that was Crash Bandicoot 2 or 3 or something. Um, you could find a special demo of Spyro the Dragon in it, and vice versa, I think, on Spyro the Dragon, which is... I don't think... I, I never I never actually seen a game do that other than that one. Look, it's Crows from Paper Mario the Passenger Door. And, of course, the last time I actually heard anything about the Spyro games, they had completely redone the plot and went back to the beginning, and... Hello? Read, completely read the game, and the last time I heard anything about Crash Bandicoot, mm -hmm. uh, things have changed a lot too. Maybe not as much as Fire. Is Nintendo the only uh, company that never changes their games a lot like that? I mean, Banjo Kazooie changed a lot, and complain, complain. Okay, anyway, we're talking. Er, this is Luigi's Mansion. Look at me, I'm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right now he'd ask us to go up here, look around, and then. Um. And then. Look at the chandelier. Oh, maybe you're supposed to do that. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a. Ah, it's a floating key. It doesn't really look like the. Well, maybe it's just small. Ah, it's a go. It looks a bit smaller than the key in this game. I've played through this game like eight times or something. Oh, there we go. There's one of the I don't know how many times one has been the a hidden mansion and one's in a regular mansion. But I know I've done it a whole bunch of times. <laughs> I know this game pretty well. Who cares about um, door cutscenes? Oh no, it's a ghost. It has teeth. I just realized it has teeth. I never realized that before. Look, it's some old man. He's apparently not very strong. Ah, he lost it. He didn't lose any coins, though. I guess he didn't have any. Ouch. Yeah, looks like it. I would narrate what he says, but I don't want to. He says stuff anyway. E Gad! OG! Oh, Gadzooks! I mean, what? Yeah, yeah. I can't say much for a cutscene, I guess. I love more ghosts. Let's uh, run. Mm. Yep, it's Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab. <laughs> so if he was here since he was 20 and he wasn't here in Partners in Time, that means that... And he was hatching ghosts for 60 years. That means that I skipped all the dialogue. <laughs> okay, so... 
it's time to catch some. Uh, I, I guess these are like fake ghosts or something. They don't actually attack you or anything. They're inside the gads. Coach, catch me. Uh, lab. Oi. Side step is better than non side step, although I never really use non side step, but it looks like it's not better, so. So, yeah, um. Uh, in other words, you, you throw a flashlight at him and then throw the vacuum at him and stuff will happen. Alright. Ah, 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 Next one. Where are you? Okay, that's two out of two so far. And wait for him. Okay, got one. I was hoping to get two at once. Okay, that's four out of four. Yep. Ah, uh, missed one. <laughs> oh no. Ha! Ah, three at once. What no hearts? Let's see. So what I got all but one? Maybe all at two, I don't know. Yep. Okay, sure. There's nothing here yet, though, except, um, these creepy things. And I remember something going up. Oh, yeah, I've always saw this dirt thing. I was like, what is this? Can you, like, is this, like, a rock, or can you, like, uh, uh, suck it up, or what? It looks like you could suck it up and enter a hidden area. So there are four rooms in this lab. This one is the gallery. Uh, one of these, I assume, is the... I'm going to assume that this one right here is the training room, and then this is the one you see in before you go to the mansion, since there's a ladder there and whatnot, I assume. This one we'll see later. At least that's I assume. Where am I? I'm just looking at that stuff in the background. I never really paid attention to it. Okay, to the mansion we go. I always thought that. Uh, he's waving. I always thought the way the windows and door deal with position, it looked like a face with the eyes and the mouth, which probably what they were going for. Look, it's Toad! Eh, you have red spots, so you're actually not good enough to save Mario's and Peach's and Bowser's and things. This is the only mention of Princess Peach in the entire game. At least I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, Toad saves the game. I'll save you, game! Uh, uh. Hello, coins. I'll take coins. Generally, you end up having. Oh, look, more coins. Generally, I end up having less coins and dollars at the end of the day since. things. Since you get lose coins if you get hurt. 